Hey y'all, it's me, Slay by Jordan. And today, in this video, we'll be working with a company called Asteria Hair. They sent me over a straight lace front wig, 30 inches, 180% density on a large cap size. Inside your packaging, you will receive your wig, you will receive two stocking caps, an elastic band, a note, and also a velvet or silk, yeah, silk wrapper bag to put your wig in. Let's just go on the record and say, y'all, this is the best. Like, I am not lying. I am telling the honest God truth. This is the best straight lace front wig I have ever worked with outside of YouTube in real life, like, ever. Y'all, first of all, first of all, first of all, this wig, it says it's 30 inches. I swear to God, it is not 30 inches. This wig has to be at least... 32 or 34 inches. I promise you it is so long and Inside what I do love is it came with a full frontal most lace front wigs do not come with the full frontal on the sides It'd be so skinny, but it came with a full frontal it came pre-plugged and when I tell y'all this wig is thick like It is thick like shout out to stereo hair because that this wig this wig was lit like and it wasn't giving me no shedding like Y'all, for real. So I already knew what kind of style I wanted to do. I wanted to do a middle part bone straight, but I want the hair to be jet black so it can give you that like, that ultimate sheen. Like, you know that jet black hair, it just be shining like hell. Yeah. So my favorite jet black dye to use is um, Dark and Lovely um, Jet Black. And today I'll be using three boxes. So what I'm doing now is I'm gonna go ahead and section off the frontal part of the wig because once again, this is a lace front wig, not a full lace wig. So it is tracks in the back and a frontal in the front. I'm gonna section off the frontal because I'm gonna paint that on real nice and precise. But that back with the track set, girl, I'm gonna slap that on the like for real, you know. Just get the job done, but you'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. Okay, make sure you put your gloves on because this is a chemical. One box, I um, took the developer and the color and I just mixed it in my um, bowl. And then the other two bottles, I left them inside the bottles and I just shook them up because those will be for the back. I'm just going to use one bottle for the frontal and the other two bottles in the back for the tracks. So, so now I'm going to paint it on. Um, as you can see, I don't put like a lot of product towards the root because when it's a chemical, once it oxidizes, it's gonna move closer there. So you don't have to put so much, you know, towards like the knots because you know, you risk putting some on the lace. Now, I ain't gonna lie y'all, I did get some down on the lace, you know, in the end. But you know, as long as that front where you gonna glue it down there ain't got no dye on the lace, you good, okay? Cause you know, you know, when you dye hair like this, you know, you do make mistakes, you know, we're human, but you know, just try to be as precise as you can. I know some people use like a toothbrush and I definitely gotta try that method. I'm pretty sure like that is, yeah, that's like the best thing to do because it's like real small and you don't have to use as much product. But yeah, y'all, you know, just do what you gotta do.
and for the front I'm gonna take a little product and I'm going to like really like just like carefully like lightly stroke it across the hair because you do not want to get black dye on that lace because no matter if you wipe it off it's still going to show up so yeah just try to be as careful as you can and you want to go ahead and pr proceed with um doing the same process on the other side of the front too Now remember when I told you I was gonna slap that dye on the back of the wig, baby, I did exactly that. You just wanna make sure you get it everywhere. But yeah, trust me, I slapped that down the back. And I went ahead and let this color process for about 45 minutes to an hour. And off camera, after I colored the hair, I um, bleached the knots and I plucked the hairline some more. Now that my client's bob cap is secure from under the dryer, we're gonna go ahead and take our Ruby Kisses makeup and we're gonna put it all over the cap while the cap is like still on. And once we put it on the cap, we're gonna um, cut off the excess cap. And then we're gonna take that same makeup and put it inside the, um, on the underside of the frontal, inside the wig. And then we're gonna take our freeze spray and spray it over that and blow dry it to lock it in place. So now we're going to cut off that excess cap and then we're going to clean and um, protect the skin using our 91% alcohol and bow hole skin protect.
So now you want to position that wig on the client's head, get your client to help you hold it into place, and you're going to position exactly where you want it to lay. Now we're gonna go ahead and cut those ear tabs out. Be careful as you can because it is so easy to nip like the very like top layer of that ear skin. So just be as careful as you can. And now I go ahead and cut my ear tabs out before I sew it down. That way so I can um that way so I can put more thread in the wig and know exactly where it's gonna be so it can be more secure. So I now um cut the ear tabs out first and then I sew the wig down. That way I can sew like right underneath that frontal light on top of the ear so it can be even more secure. Now before I sewed the wig down, I did take the adjustable strap in the back and I did connect it. But we want an even more secure hole, so we used the adjustable strap in the back and we're also going to sew the wig down. You do not have to sew your wigs down, you guys. This is just my personal preference because my clients, they be rough on their hairdos and I just be wanting their wig to last, you know. So yeah, that's what I do. And if I didn't mention with all factory made wigs, like I cut all the combs out of the wig using the eyebrow razor. I just, the combs be in my way, you know, cause I'm already know I'm gonna sew my wig down. So I don't need the combs inside the wig. Now you can keep that back comb if you're gonna use your adjustable strap and not sew it down. That way it can be secure. You can put the, um, you can secure the strap and then put the comb up under the strap. But I know I sew all my wigs down, so I cut out all the combs and all my wigs, and my clients don't mind because the combs hurt for one, and I just, you know, I just be needing more security. So yeah. Now we're gonna take our boho active and instead of doing three layers like how I normally do, I now apply four layers of glue. Now I know y'all may say that's a lot of glue, but y'all, it's really not. <laughs> it's really not at all. And three is really enough. Actually, you really can get away with two. I just be one my wig secure, y'all. I just don't be liking that slipping and sliding mess. Yes, I just like my wig secure. And also, I, um, you know how I normally just put it on like the tip of the cap? I actually put it a little bit in front of the cap, like on the actual skin, because your wig will stay laid down more longer when the glue is on your skin than the cap, because you gotta think about it. When you sweat, that cap is gonna lift because it was secured using that black got to be glued gel. But if you glue it down on the actual skin, it's gonna be good. Hope y'all understood what I was saying, because they kinda sounded crazy, but anyway. So now we're just gonna um, lay that frontal down right on the glue and then you're gonna get your client to help you hold it in place.
And if you've been following me for a while, you know I normally use my um, silk wraps to tie the lace down now. But y'all, 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 girl. I learned this method from a YouTuber um, from Miami. Her name is Beautiful Hustler. That's my girl. Shout out to you, girl. Y'all, get you an elastic band. Y'all, when I tell you, excuse my language, that shit gonna be so laid in your skin, y'all. Get you an elastic band. I know it's gonna be tight because it's an elastic band, but when I tell you that jump melts that lace in, it melts that lace in, girl. That's the best tip I probably could learn from a hairstylist, girl. Put that elastic band on. Yes. You finna, y'all finna see in a second. Y'all finna see. Okay, so now y'all know I cut my um, lace off using um, the shears and the eyebrow razor. And I just be talking so much. Before I, um, no, after I put the elastic back on, I took some Tresemme Character Smooth Heat Protection Spray and I went ahead and blow dried the hair because it was still wet and then I still wanted to smooth it out. And then she sat up on a dryer for about 10 minutes on medium to high heat. And then when she came up under the dryer, um, I proceeded to cut off her lace. Before y'all clown me in the comments, yes, we can all see her lace is definitely significantly lighter than her skin. Um, what I could have did was use a darker foundation inside of the lace to um, better match her skin. But hey, we made mistakes. We are human. So what I am going to do is take some more foundation. Um, I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to dab it across the front. Now, um, you don't want to use too much because makeup has oils in it and oils will lift your lace. So, you know, just do enough to make it blend.
Now, as you can see, we are good to go. So now we're going to take our Care Care Wax stick and we're going to section off a piece of the frontal in the back and we're going to hot comb that down just to cover the tracks in the back and we'll also use that same um, combination to um, define her middle part. Scalpiana, you say? <laughs> but now we're using that hot comb just to lay down every um, hair on each side of the frontal because we want it to be flat. You don't want your wig bulky at all. You can also use mousse and sit them up under a dryer for this. But when you want to just get it done right then and there, you can use that hot comb, girl. That's what God made it for. So now we're going to use our Frantasia Frizz Buster. It is a um, heat protecting serum. And then we're going to proceed to press the hair out. The flat iron I use that you always ask, y'all, I use the same flat iron most of the time, which is the Affinity Pro by Conair 2 inch ceramic flat iron. You can get it at Walmart. It's no more than $30. It can't be. And that mug works wonders, as you can see. I am using the flat iron on 455 degrees.
So I went ahead and pressed the entire wig. And once I got done, um, I'm gonna use my um, got to be glue free spray just to secure down any flyaways, which I didn't have much. Like, y'all, this wig is super lit. And also to define my middle part, I'm gonna take some um, Salon Graphics High Beams um, Black Spray. It's a temporary black spray. Just to give that part a more crisp look. This is not necessary at all. But this is something you can use if you over bleach your knots and your roots are like super, super blonde. Girl, you can conceal that right quick. So yeah, but I just love um, crispy the fine parts. That's just, you know, my personal preference. And then y'all already know, I use my um, Beyond the Zone Turn Up the Heat Spray to give the hair a beautiful gloss. And we is laid to slay, period, poo. And as you can see, she finna show y'all, you cannot tell me that hair is not longer than 30 inches. That wig is definitely longer than 30 inches, but like, this is the best hair I have worked with so far, pertaining to a straight lace front wig. So yeah, y'all, Um, I thank y'all so much. I think we almost at 80K, y'all. I am, y'all, y'all just be showing me so much love and I appreciate it so much. But yeah, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Turn on that notification bell and new videos will be popping up back to back next week.